Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video. And subscribe to Fair's Learning Centre. Welcome back to Faz Learning Center. In today's video, I will be showing you how to divide by 10, 100 and 1000. So, our first question is going to be 1542 divide by 10. Okay, so we are dividing by 10. 1542 divided by 10. So what does that mean? That means we are making the number 1542 10 times smaller. Yes, we are making the number 10 times smaller. So how do we tackle this question? At the moment, the number 1542 is a whole number. For example, I have 1542. Two smarties. So I have 1,542 smarties, but I need to make this number 10 times smaller. So what I'm going to be doing is I am going to bring in a decimal point. At the moment, the number 1,542 is a whole number. Therefore, the decimal isn't needed. However, every single whole number does have a decimal which you can bring in and take out anytime you like. So for example, if you look later on, if you get a chance, look at a calculator. When you type in the number 5, there will be a decimal next to it. If you type in the number 18, there will be a decimal next to it. Because every single whole number has a decimal which is invisible but you can bring it in and make it visible whenever you need. And when we are dividing by 10, 100 and 1000, this is where we need to bring the decimal visible. So let's go through the first example because it will become clearer on what we need to do. So we have a whole number and I'm going to bring my decimal visible. Here is my decimal point. So I am making the number 1542 10 times smaller so i am going to think about how many zeros i have how many zeros do i have this is a tip that you can use and it's very good so we have one zero because we have one zero what we're going to do is we are going to move one time towards the left. The reason why we're moving towards the left is because that's how we're going to make the number 1542 smaller. So let's move one decimal to the left because we are dividing by 10. So now my decimal point is here. It has moved from the end of 2 to in between 4 and 2. So let me write this down. What is my my answer showing 1, 5, 4, decimal point 2. 154.2. That is my answer. 1,542 divided by 10 gives me 154.2. So I have 154 whole Smarties and I have, have one smarty which has only two tiny pieces of it so i have one 154.2 is my answer right let's look at the next question it's going to be a very similar question 1542 and guess what we're doing next yes we are dividing by 100 okay so again we are what are we doing we are making the number 1542 100 times smaller we don't have a decimal point but we know we can make we can bring in a decimal on a whole number so we don't have a decimal at the moment i am going to bring in a decimal point 
Now we're going to move to the left. But how many times do we need to move to the left? Depends on the zeros. How many zeros do we have? One, two. One and two. So that means we're moving backwards. We're moving to the left two times. One, two. So now my decimal has, has been moved here in between five and four. I'm going to write down what my answer is. One, five, then I have a decimal point, four, two. So now my answer is 15.42. 1542 divided by 100 gives me 15.42. Let's go to the next question. 1,542, we're using the same number and now we are going to be dividing it by 1,000. So 1,542 divided by 1,000, what does that mean? It means you are dividing that you are making the number 1,542 1,000 times smaller. So we are going to do exactly the same method that we did for question 1 and question 2. So we are first going to bring in a decimal point. Now we're going to think about how many zeros do we have? Yes, we do have 3. 1, 2, 3. So I am moving to my left 3 times. One, two, three. Now my answer is 1.542. By now, it would be clearer on how to do this. You, to, the top tip that I would like to give you is look at the zeros. Depending on the zeros, that is how many times you're going to be moving to your left. Remember, we move to the left to make the number smaller. We know when we are dividing, when we are dividing, when we are sharing something, we make the number smaller. The number becomes smaller. Our answer becomes smaller. And as you can see, 1,542 is larger than the answer. The answer is smaller, just like I said. So let's look at a pattern. So there is one ten. So we moved the decimal one time. We had, we were dividing by, by 100, which has two zeros. So we moved the decimal two times. The last question, 1000 had three zeros. So we moved the decimal three times. And we got to our 